Taiwan is a beautiful island. Mother Nature blessed this land with abundant resources and a welcoming environment. The diverse geography, climate, and soil helped to shape the beautiful and unique island of Formosa, home to a wide variety of ecosystems. From the plains to the mountains, we have witnessed various types of land use. As people have used their knowledge to establish suitable methods for managing and sustaining the land. We realize that agricultural development on slope lands and soil water conservation should be balanced. And we have diligently studied this issue for a long time. From the past to the present, we continue to persevere. The Joint Commission on Rural Reconstruction was established in 1948. Due to pressures brought on by a growing population and increasing land use demand, the Commission collaborated with the Taiwan Provincial Government, making agricultural productivity their goal. The partners promoted slope land conservation, trained professional personnel, and established soil water conservation demonstration sites. In 1961, the Mountain Agricultural Resources Development Bureau was established by the Taiwan Provincial Government and began to conduct surveys of agricultural and husbandry resources in mountainous areas. It also launched several promotional activities and regional soil water conservation demonstration area projects. Following studies, it established a labor-efficient slopeland farming soil land conservation structure. The Mountain Agricultural Resources Development Bureau was reorganized in 1989 and 99, known as the Soil and Water Conservation Bureau under the Council of Agriculture, Executive Yuan. Much time has passed, but what hasn't changed is the care and attention that such related organizations and individuals show towards Taiwan. All sorts of farmland, soil, and water conservation experiments and studies have been conducted, including the introduction of vegetation and various farming methods, and soil erosion tests for different crops. Gradually, this has led to the establishment of techniques for soil water conservation in Taiwan. Regional demonstrations and outdoor classrooms for soil and water conservation education were established and the promotion of environment-related education systems began, enabling farmland soil and water conservation technology systems to become more comprehensive. Agriculture on slope farmland in Taiwan is highly diverse. These include farm crops, garden produce, perennial fruit trees, and special crops. According to slope land utilization limitation classifications, slope farmland in Taiwan can be divided into three categories, farming and husbandry areas, forest areas, and enhanced conservation areas. Level one to four slope lands, which have an average grade lower than 55%, are farming and husbandry areas, and can be farmed in accordance with farmland soil and water conservation protocols. Slopes with a grade over 55% are designated forest areas and are not suitable for farming. Reasonable land use principles and soil and water conservation procedures should be implemented here, and suitable crops should be planted according to land conditions. In addition, the Bureau assists and subsidizes farmers to promote farmland labor-saving management, grass cultivation, and the development and improvement of conservation technologies. Since 1966, the Soil and Water Conservation Bureau has worked toward a comprehensive regional farmland soil and water conservation plan. The main focus is assisting farmers in setting up farm road systems, irrigation systems, and drainage systems within farming areas, planning and executing farmland soil and water conservation methods. 
The planning and constructing of farm roads is the first and foremost issue for slope farmland operations and management. Farm road systems include main access roads, farm roads, working roads, and ringed roads. Working roads are for small-sized cargo vehicles and are usually used by farmers to reach their farmland in order to fertilize, irrigate, harvest and trim their crops and conduct other management operations. Working roads are usually built along contour lines in concordance with drainage systems. Ringed roads connect hillside ditches, bench terraces, and working roads. Due to geography, these roads are often built in a Z-shape. A complete irrigation system includes water storage facilities, water transmission pipes, and irrigation equipment in the fields. Mechanical pumping equipment is often used to pump water into a water storage pool or water tower at the highest point on the farm. Gravity then makes the irrigation water flow downward and into the farmland. And by building farming ponds, surface runoff can be intercepted and stored and used as another water source for crop irrigation. A farmland drainage system includes transverse and longitudinal drainage. Common transverse drainage includes road surface drainage, L-type side ditches, hillside ditches, and diversion ditches. Common longitudinal ditches include concrete ditches, present drains, stone drainage ditches and road surface drainage, small culverts, and hydraulic drop. When selecting farmland soil and water conservation methods, the topography, landform, surrounding environment, and base conditions should all be considered so that a comprehensive plan can be drawn up. Main methods include the use of bench terraces, hillside ditches, stone walls, contour cultivation, covering works with plant materials, mulching, green manure, and windbreaks for slope lens. A bench terrace is one of the oldest methods, mainly deployed to deter runoff and prevent soil erosion. According to their different tilting styles, bench terraces can be divided into horizontal, inward tilt, and outward tilt types. A hillside ditch is a triangular ditch built along contour lines. This method can store water and reduce soil erosion, as well as be used for working roads. Hillside ditches are suitable for slopes with grades below 40%. In terms of width, ditches can be categorized into narrow types, 1.5 meters, and wide types, 2 meters. Early farmers farmed on slopes with lots of gravel and consequently developed the stonewall method. Gravel and rocks are stacked along contour lines to clear farmland and reduce soil and water loss. For contour cultivation, planting, plowing, and fertilizing crops along contour lines can preserve water resources and reduce erosion. Contour cultivation can be used with hillside dishes and working road systems to achieve labor-saving management. In covering works with plant materials, 
by growing grass which can conserve water and soil, or by keeping the natural vegetation, we can protect the land surface and improve the soil. Vegetation methods used in orchards include full coverage and strip coverage. The main grass species used for covering works were bahia grass, carpet grass, and centipede grass, etc. In mature tree areas, natural shade grass can be kept for vegetation purposes. Mulching is a method that uses crop residues, plastic materials, fiber materials, or straw mats and other materials to cover the spaces between fields or crops. It is mainly used to increase soil moisture content and deter weed growth. Green manure is used during fallow periods or in between crop rows. Farmers grow plants that can improve the soil or be used as fertilizer. Common green manure plants include sun hemp, perennial peanut, and rape greens. For windbreaks for slope lands, used to reduce the impact of strong winds on coastal areas or on the windward sides of slopes, which would affect crop growth and cause windfalls, windbreaks must be planted or other similar measures must be taken. The windbreak facility should be located on the edges of farmlands or along roadsides. Staking and wattling means using wooden or bamboo stakes, bamboo strips, and similar items to stake and wattle fences. By altering the slope grade, we can prevent erosion and promote vegetation growth and coverage. The Soil Tire Vegetation Method This method places scrap tire pieces on bare land to protect slope land. It is especially implemented in mudstone areas to prevent surface soil loss and prevent a better base for plants to grow in. Taiwan's farmland soil and water conservation techniques are being shared with countries around the world. It is important that we continue to engage in international exchanges to promote and share the wisdom, experiences, and techniques passed down by our predecessors. We should also consider the impact of global climate change and international soil and water conservation policies and technology as we continue to promote the development of soil and water conservation in Taiwan. Mm -hmm.